What's up, everybody? It is Nigeria alongside of Damian G, and we here are we are here to give you a non-spoiler review of Marvel's Modoc, which is going to be dropping all 10 episodes on Hulu May 21st. And here, I'm, I'm gonna start with this. If you are a Marvel fan mm -hmm. and you're just looking for extra new content, yep. this is the place right here that you will be satisfied. It does uh, a lot of fan service to all the Marvel enthusiasts. Yep. Um, we all know Modoc, or if you don't know Modoc, Modoc is one of the most revered super villains in all of Marvel. Uh, so the fact that we're finally getting to see some entity of him on the screen, he is on the Avengers game as the main character in the uh, Square Enix uh, Avengers game that That's recently right. came out. Uh, but now that we're seeing him on television now in this capacity, he's been on other things for sure, but in this capacity where we're focusing on him after years and years of fighting with the Avengers and to no allure, he's now working for AIM, but he's trying to balance his professional life with his family life. Yes, we get to see his family in this. And yeah, things get crazy. And I haven't even told you the major part about this that's interesting is that the animation style is uh, an animation style that you may be familiar with just by looking at the trailer. It is brought to you from the same people who have done the recent Harley Quinn uh, yeah. animated series and notably Robot Chicken. So you're going to get not only that style of animation, but for all the reasons and things that you like Robot Chicken, you're going to get that. So with that being said, this definitely has an adult tone, oh, language, yes. <laughs> and all sorts of other random things happening yet for you uh, super hardcore Marvel and comic book enthusiasts such as ourselves, um, you're getting that along with good Easter egg storytellings and possibly some ramifications in the future. Uh, what's your thoughts, Damien? Well, I went into this basically not knowing even the part about his family. And, and as you'll all see as you watch the show and as you watch our reviews, uh, I go along this journey with all of you. And I will say, I agree 1000% what Najir is saying. He's basically saying, be ready for a Marvel, a Marvel robot chicken that spans 10 episodes. <laughs> it's the humor you expect from Stupid Human Productions, the production <laughs> company. It is a lot of Easter eggs, not just to Marvel, but there's callbacks, there's flashbacks, there's, there's a lot of pop culture references for today as well as in the past that pop up in this show. And the humor, if you're like us, because we do nerd reviews, you like nerdy humor, kind of nerdy, dry, dorky humor. And this has tons of it. The voice acting was impeccable. That was one of the hallmarks of this show. Uh, it's a, it, it's definitely takes a left turn when you thought it was going to go right. There's some <laughs> Avenger callbacks. There's some Marvel villain, you know, snippets here. And there's one or two supporting characters. And you'll, you'll see which one Najir likes the best that pop up in this show that you can't help but like and watch and that was the thing i love the most is that these small little minute characters play such a bigger role in the show as it goes on and remember even though it's modok even though we're rooting for him he's still the bad guy yeah so remember that kids <laughs> yeah and uh Patton oswald is um Bravo. who is voicing uh modok Mordok. here does a fantastic job and uh, really, and also too, not only just voicing him, but he's also written yes. uh, a few episodes. So mm -hmm. like um, he's using all his creators to really bring this character to life and make it his own at the same time, still doing uh, the character source material justice. Fantastic job. And, and there's some other supporting characters and notable voices that you may have heard in other projects as well, that mm -hmm. even with even small roles or very yeah. one-off type of roles or whatever it may be, uh, deliver. So there's definitely, uh, shall I say, keep your eyes peeled for Easter eggs and keep your your uh, your ears your wide, ears open. <laughs> your mm -hmm. ears open uh, for voices you may be familiar with. Uh, so, but overall, I enjoyed this. Um, I, you know, as Damien said, we have broken down each of these 10 episodes, full blown spoilers. Uh, we're pointing out plot points. We're po uh, pointing out some of our favorite moments. We're po uh, plot. I cannot even talk. We're pointing out plot out points. He <laughs> has yeah, plot points. There we go. Easter eggs and all that other stuff. And then, you know, ultimately we, we ended off with our finale and, uh, what we would like to see come season two. So we had a lot of fun with this. You all will too. 
Um, you know, I think one other thing I want to add to it as well is that, you know, for all of the Disney properties and shows that are out, this one feels very, very much uh, something that I didn't know I wanted now that I got right, it. Right now that you got it, you want more. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm very satisfied. And um, I hope to get more. I hope to get more. It's been a long road since they initially announced this back at Comic-Con. And a lot of things have happened in inside of Marvel's uh, org chart, which org chart is also a pun towards what's happening in the oh, show at one point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, here we are. And I, I am happy that we are. And I think a lot of people will like it. So I definitely suggest that you check it out. The 30-minute episodes, mm-hmm. uh, 10 each. So it's a quick five hour binge if you must but you know if you don't you know even so the the, the little sprints and watching this you're going to enjoy it and you're just going to have a good time uh and, and just be stuck <laughs> so definitely check it out damien any other comments you want to throw about this one for roll out if you have any misconceptions about this show because you're thinking Modoc's too obscure of a character to najir's point about it, him being a central figure in the avengers video game Throw all those out the window. Go yeah. in with an open mind because that's what I did. And I, I kid you not, the notes we did for this show, I have about 40 pages of notes for every for these reviews. And I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed this show. You will too. It, it kind of stays in that vein of humanizing the villains that we've seen in the MCU with Loki, yeah. for instance. Mm-hmm. So now it's, oh, we're going to start rooting for the bad guy. But be yeah. careful. He's still the bad guy. But it's funny. <laughs> It's funny. It's well acted. It's well written. The callbacks are great. The Easter eggs are great. I guarantee you, you will enjoy this if you go in with an open mind. And the and also I'll just say this for you all. There's some. There's some. But actually, there's a lot of X Men references in there. So there you go. You'll have some fun with that. Be prepared to want to dig deep back into your comments because they're they're going deep with some of these things and the connections and the the small tidbits that you've like, wait, did he say what? And mm-hmm. indeed they did. So yeah, definitely have fun with this, folks. Jump in the comments, let us know your expectations, excitement, and whatever else you're thinking about this. And then check out our spoiler review for each and every episode all the way into the finale. Yep. So with that being said, as always, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you around for more reviews very soon. Bye, y'all.